Well, good day, everybody. Craig, back at you out on the 2018 Honda Goldwing. Want to use this video to give you my recap of the 2021 uh, Wingding event, Wingding 42 in Springfield, Missouri. This is actually the second time that I'm uh, recording this vlog. The first time I recorded it, and there was nothing wrong with it. The video was okay, the audio was okay, but uh, what I had done was I had recorded that video as soon as I got home. I think it was a day after I got home, kind of giving my perceptions of it. And then um, I started to edit some of the videos and put them online. Um, hopefully you've seen that. If you're not, I do have a 2021 Wingding playlist. You can check that out of some of the recent videos. But in editing those videos, it really caused me to rethink some of the things that I said in the video um, that I did not post. So I want to go over those things again. How is uh, Wingding 2021? I'm going to do it really in comparison to Wingding 41, which was in Nashville, uh, Tennessee, that I got the opportunity to attend. So let's get right into it. First of all, let's talk about location. Um, Nashville was a great location, a great city, a good place to visit, good riding over there. So um, on a scale of thumbs up, thumbs down, Nashville was a thumbs up. Springfield, Missouri, um, that area, uh, I have to give a thumbs up. Great riding in that area. To be honest, I can't really rate the city of Springfield uh, because I did not stay there. I think I only stayed there two nights. Most of the time that I was there, I stayed in Branson. And even in when I was in Branson, I can't really rate them, whether it's a thumbs up or thumbs down. It seemed to be a, a, a decent area, a lot of things to do. But we spent a lot of our time on the road, on the back roads, uh, putting miles in while we were there. So it wouldn't be fair for me to say, hey, Branson is great or it's not great or Springfield's great, it's not great. I just did more riding this trip than actually hanging around in the city where the events were happening or the events of that, or the or the, uh, the town where I was staying at, or Branson I was staying at. Second thing I'll talk about is the venue. Uh, Nashville, I would have to say is a thumbs down. It was at the Gaylord, I guess, hotel, conference center. Beautiful place, just, it was, it was humongous. It was large. It was confusing on where to go. Um, check out that video from that wing ding. Uh, Springfield, thumbs up. Uh, venue, the convention center was conveniently located in Springfield, easy to get to. Parking was very easy. They charge five bucks, which is not unreasonable uh, to park in Springfield. And they also had a covered ramp, uh, a parking ramp to park your bike in. And while we were there, I would say almost every day, with maybe the exception of the last day we were there, it rained at some point during the day. So even when we went to the trade show, at the convention center, it was raining. So it was nice having covered parking for your bike. So uh, thumbs up on that. Uh, trade show. Uh, I would say the Nashville and Springfield are both equivalent. This is kind of where I rethought my thinking. I would have to say uh, it's even. I wouldn't give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, but I will say this, as many videos I've done, there's a, many non-motorcycle related vendors at Wingding. Uh, this year you had a vendor that was doing eyebrows for women, necklaces, um, jewelry, uh, jewelry, you know, jewelry, necklaces, um, cleaning products, uh, just a whole bunch of knickknacks, uh, bird feeders, a bunch of stuff. Um, you did have some motorcycle related things, Electro Connections was there, so it wasn't totally uh, non-motorcycle related, but probably more non-motorcycle related things than you would see at another event. At, originally I kind of came down on the organizers for that, um, but in having, one of the things I noticed when I'm editing my videos, even though they have all these non-motorcycle related vendors, people are, par people are patronizing them. P women are getting their eyebrows done. Um, people are buying this cookware for cookware demonstrations. People are, they're patronizing um, these vendors. So I would say for the organizers, I would say it was probably success in them picking the vendors that they picked because based off of the audience that they had there, those people were interested in the pillows being sold and all the other stuff. So I would say probably from that standpoint, it was a success because the vendors were making money. 
next event for the weekend that uh, that I uh, went to was the parade. Now, in 2019, they did not have a parade of motorcycles in Nashville, so I can't compare it to that. But uh, this year's parade, I did not. Well, I didn't ride in it. I was there and I witnessed it and got some video for it. I like the parade because it gives you just the, you can look at the different bikes and see the different modifications and trailers and color schemes and everything just you know it's a blank canvas for people and what they want to do to their motorcycles so I enjoy the parade uh, so that's a good thing I would keep that in because again it's just, it's just interesting looking at all the bikes. Another event they had during a uh, bike night uh, as long as, as that was in conjunction with the parade uh, they had a couple drill teams performing, uh, at least two drill teams, uh, where they were doing, you know, precision maneuvers on their motorcycles, both gold wings, and then there were some Harleys out there. Um, that was good. Uh, they had that in 2019 also. I could be wrong, but it, it's, it did seem like there weren't as many of these precision teams, or that part of the show didn't last as long. I could be wrong. But it was it was good. It's good seeing you know. It's kind of impressive seeing that that um, that slow speed skill stuff. For me personally, if they kept that in or they eliminated that on the next wingding, um, I, I I I wouldn't lose sleep either way. I mean I like seeing it, but I wouldn't say it's something that I go to bike night for specifically to see. Last thing about uh, bike night that they have is the light show, and uh, 2019 was great. Uh, enjoyable it's just a lot of fun uh looking at the bikes looking at what people did this year in springfield uh i would say it, to me at least it appeared there was more way more bikes that had entered so that was good you got to see a bigger variety of what people have done adding the lights and the accessories to their bikes so i like seeing that i would say the one negative if there's a thumbs down on the light show uh i would say two areas one, it wasn't really clear cut when it started. You know, it's it. Uh, if they had made announcements, I don't know if everybody heard them because no one really knew when the light show started. All we heard was um, light show is about to end. Make sure you get your tickets in the bucket to vote for the person or the, the bike that you want to vote for. Um, we were, I didn't even realize the thing had started yet. And the reason why I didn't realize it had started, and I, and I can speak for other people that I was around, we didn't realize it started, because it was too too light outside. You know, if you're going to have a light show to show off your auxiliary lights and everything else that you put on your bike, you got to wait till it gets a little bit darker, you know, where you can really see them. I, I think Nashville was perfect. They waited till it got a little bit darker. You can really see the lights. It was impressive. Here, it was still daylight. And it just, I don't know, it just didn't go over as well as if they would have waited, if, you know, if they had pushed it back, maybe even a half an hour. Um, so I think that's on the organizers. I will say this, I like the light show, keep that going. I think a lot of people do attend bike night for the light show. Uh, so definitely keep that up uh, for your next wing day. So in conclusion, I would say I am happy that I went. It was a good time. Great riding. Just great riding in the Ozark area. Um, also got to see some people that I hadn't seen in two years since the last Wingding, which is good. And that's another reason that, uh, you, you go to Wingding. It's because you meet, you meet friends and, you know, you converse so with them and you meet up with them and have a good time. So I'm happy that I went. But anyway, rambling on. So thanks a lot, everybody, for watching the videos. Um, uh, if you haven't checked out the series, please do, and uh, I will be talking to you again soon. Take care, everyone, and God bless.